Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the Scan Tool Network. In this video, we're going to do a, a bit of a, a short demonstration of the Xtool D9 package working on a Land Rover. It's a Land Rover Discovery, Discovery 3, it's a 2007 model. And you can see we've got a dashboard full of warning lights. Uh, Discovery owners will be no stranger to dashboard warning lights, so um, I'm assuming this, well, it might relate to you or might not, depending on your needs, because this is quite an expensive tool. It's a high-end package that the dealers and the garages will have. Um, it's a wireless Bluetooth kit and it does all sorts of programming and everything. So but the purpose of this video really is just to show you this tool working on a Land Rover and getting rid of these warning lights on the dashboard here. So it's a Bluetooth package which connects to like a VCI. We've got a VCI down here on the right hand side. I'm sure if you can see but one end of this is plugged into the diagnostic port and a connection is made between this VCI and this tool here. So that's where your Bluetooth connection comes in so you don't need to use any wires or anything. Um, it does lots of functions, lots of service functions and things like that but what we're really interested in is the diagnosis side of things on this particular video and all we want is the Land Rover icon which is there. You notice we're, we it only showed uh, European models here because we're in the European section here. Uh, we've got Asian, American, Chinese as well. But we'll have a look at this for now, just the Land Rover side of things, and we'll see if we can get these warning lights. Uh, it does cover a huge range of makes, models, systems, functions, service functions within these vehicles as well. So. What I will say is, I'm going to pop the link to this kit in the description below this video because there are fakes, there are clones out there on the market and unfortunately they can damage your vehicle so make sure you stick with the genuine and official product and you'll get that by clicking the link in the description below this video. So as you saw there we're just working our way, selecting our vehicle and then eventually we'll be prevent presented with an option to scan all systems or system selection and this gives us a list of all of the systems that we could potentially um, connect to depending on which of these systems are installed to the vehicle. So first of all we'll go to the engine which is the check engine light and we'll click on powertrain control module and we'll go speed control not fitted and then we'll go read trouble code and this is giving us a few a few faults here. Now the first one and the second one these were faults with well we've had a, a Discovery owners might know, but we've got an intermittent dashboard where it sometimes works and it sometimes doesn't, so that's the fault relating to that. Uh, we've got, I'm not sure if you can see here, but we've got a plug unplugged for the uh, the ventilation, the heating ventilation. That's because we've been trying to get to the dashboard because it's been intermittently working. So those are currently, well that's currently uh, disconnected. That fault code is there because this dashboard was connected, disconnected. Okay, um, the rest of them, are the problem with the mass airflow sensor. So we found a problem with the mass airflow sensor. We put a new mass airflow sensor in, but even though we've put that in, we've still got the check engine light. So what we're gonna do now is just click on to clear trouble code. And when I do this, just keep an eye on the check engine light. And there we go, the check engine light is gone. The erase command has been sent. And that's in essence how it works. We've got the restraints control module as well. That's the airbag system. This one here. What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to, I'm going to put the my seat belt on, just so it turns off the seat belt warning light. We'll click on read trouble code. What we had to do here was uh, we had to disconnect the connection underneath the passenger seat, and when we did that, obviously the battery wasn't disconnected. So when we've turned everything back on, the airbag light is there. It's a common thing, but we weren't too bothered about that because we knew we could reset it with this tool. So again, we'll go clear trouble code and then keep an eye on the airbag light. That has turned off as well. And then we're left with three warning lights, the ABS, the traction, and the other brake warning light, also known as the three amigos. So these can be accessed by clicking on the, um, where is it? the vehicle dynamics control, so it's this one here. And then we go read trouble code. And this was a problem with the front right wheel speed sensor. 
Um, so we put a new ABS sensor in, connected everything back up, and we just really need to reset the faults. Obviously, you're seeing a few of the faults here, like lost communications with steering wheel angle sensors, uh, instrument cluster. That is again because we had this disconnected. We've got that disconnected. So don't worry about the lost the, the faults beginning with use um, on any of these sections. Don't worry about them at all. Um, it's just the C's and the B's and the uh, the P's that we're interested in. Uh, fault codes beginning with those letters, of course. So we'll click on to clear trouble code for this one. This one's going to be a little bit different. As you can see, the warning lights will stay on as we do the command. You can see the fault's gone because we'll go read trouble code. No trouble codes there. So the faults have gone, but the warning lights are still there. That is simply because all you need to do is just turn the engine off and then turn it back on and you'll see these warning lights disappear. There we go, they've all turned off and that's in part thanks to this Xtool D9 kit which has allowed us to diagnose and reset these faults. Now the thing about this tool is that what I've just showed you there is like 2% of what this tool can do. It can do so many more like service resets, DPF regenerations, uh, battery registrations, gear learning, instrument cluster resets, um, clutch adaptions, so many things on this tool which is just is a fantastic package. Um, but there it is, that is just a bit of information on this tool and just a quick demonstration of the tool working actually on the uh, on this particular vehicle. So if you are interested as I say it is quite an expensive tool, there are tools which will do the same but cheaper like the D7 and the D8 tools so we've also got videos on those tools as well on this particular vehicle so it might be worth searching the channel for the D7 X tool or the D8 X tool on a Land Rover and you'll probably find our channel with that tool uh, demonstrating it so but if you are interested in this one of course then just click the link in the description below this video and it'll take you to the, uh, the, the cheapest price which is of course a genuine and official product though okay so that's it Thanks very much for watching and I hope this helps.